So, uh, hello friends. Today we, I am going to talk about friction. The things that you need are a scale. In this case, a quote unquote Newton meter. Even though it doesn't work as a Newton meter, uh, paper, styrofoam, any kind of box that has holes, and glass. In this case, I'm going to use my table. So, first, we're going to try it on paper. As you can see, Nearly maxed out. Now, styrofoam. See, it's considerably less. Oh. So that one isn't very steady. And then the glass. relatively light why does it always keep coming out and you know what let's just ignore that why is the paper the hardest to move through Details. Even though it looks smooth, actually, it's half. I also hate it when people grab their fingers. Why well, is just type of foam, which has more bends and etc. Because they have less surface area. This is pretty much flat. See the bumps. The bumps are too small to be even, but yeah, so they decrease the rate, so yeah, it is fine and the surface area is lower, how about the glass, of course it is smooth, and the concept the really lessen the friction. So yes, things that are smooth or has less surface area is having less friction, like ice. That's why you can ice skate on them. That's why you fall on them. Don't fall on thin ice though. That will hurt a lot. So, okay. Okay, so we're done. Bye.